Krebs mission 1942 the mission it was sent by British government in 1942 because in this period British were having very difficulties so they had sent a mission to 19 uh, to India in 1942 you will see a brief introduction of this mission in this very lecture uh, first of all let's see the background of this mission Uh, in background we found the initial difficulties of british government in the second world war you can see in the uh, the uh, during the first uh, period of um, second world war the amazing victories by nazi governments or nazi forces they had almost captured southeast asia and north africa so this had created very great concerns in british for british government especially uh, after january 15 1942 when singapore was captured by japanese forces who were fighting along with uh, germans this had created so much concern in british government because after singapore and uh, their next target was obviously the india and the british government was never willing to lose india so for that purpose uh, lord lintligo the viceroy of india had offered or he had given some offers to indians on 8 august 1940 this is also called august offer in this offer he had proposed that after in india a why a war advisory council will be formed and after the war a constituent assembly will be formed uh, which will include in which um, there will be the members from uh, elected members from provinces and nominated members from states will be included and Uh, but in this offer he had said that uh, the regarding the transfer of power to indians the decision will be taken later on and the british government will not hand over the government to as any segment in india which does not have them uh, which does not is not having support from a large segment of india this offer was rejected by both muslim league and congress so this created a try party conflict in india because all india muslim league was demanding that first the hindu muslim conflict or the hindu muslim issues must be resolved while congress was demanding to quit india as soon as possible while and the third party the that was the british government was willing to retain the control of india till at least at the end of the war so this had created a try party conflict which had Uh, met the political environment of india so much polluted so the pollution uh, the political pollution which was created in uh, india had created so uh, great concerns in british government and obviously the prime minister of uh, britain at that time mr churchill had great concerns so he chalked out a program for uh, to solve this issue in his program he said that a mission under supervision of sir stafford krebs will be sent to india who will resolve the issue so stafford krebs arrived in india on 23 march 1942 and after arrival in india obviously he tried to discuss with various segments of india Uh, regarding the solution of issue but he was not successful because uh, the muslim league and congress they uh, were stick to their demands the muslim league was demanding that hindu muslim uh, conflicts must be resolved first while uh, congress was demanding to quit india as, as soon as possible when the staffer crips obviously he want to retain in india and just gain the uh, loyalties of india indians towards british so uh, when the discussion with indian parties was not successful in april 1942 uh, stafford cripps proposed some proposals on his behalf in his proposals he first said that a constituent assembly consisted of elected representatives from provinces and nominated representatives from the states shall be formed immediately and this constituent assembly will work on following grounds first one was that any province shall be free to adhere or not to adhere to the new constitution and the second was 
that meanwhile the British government would retain the control of India and the third was that regarding the transfer of power to the Indians a fresh agreement will be made and the fourth one was the government of India Act 1935 shall remain in force till the new constitution is formed and the four, fifth condition was that commander-in-chief and finance minister both of them will be British and the last condition was obviously that no amendments shall be accepted in this in these proposals and that's I, a party can accept or reject the proposals they cannot propose an amendments and it was also said that these proposals will be implemented only if both Muslim League and Congress accept them if any party or if uh, either Muslim League or Congress rejected these proposals then these proposals will not be implemented in India in reaction we saw that both Congress and all India Muslim League rejected these proposals because Congress was demanded to uh, transfer demanding the transfer of powers as soon as possible uh, while all India Muslim League was demanding that first in uh, in India the Hindu Muslim issues must be settled and then after the transfer of power while British government was uh, willing to retain the power so this uh, mission was not successful